When using a drone, in many countries, by regulation, we must keep it under the line of sight. But the Mini 3 and 3 Pro are tiny, and we can sometimes lose sight of them. In this video I will show how we can use the map and the radar to always have the drone under control, even when we cannot see it. The map constantly keeps track of the position of the drone, compared to the home point and the remote controller. When filming, it is also useful to know the location of different landmarks in the surrounding area. With the Mavic 3 it is possible to use the map to set waypoints, but sadly waypoints mode is not yet available on the Mini 3 and 3 Pro. In DJI Fly App, on the lower left part of the screen, there is a small yellow-green square. By tapping on it we access the map, which shows a blue arrow-shaped icon representing the drone, a large circle with an H in the middle for the home point, and a smaller circle for the remote controller. In most cases the home point will be very close to the transmitter, but if the operator is moving with a car, a boat, a bike or hiking, the two will get farther apart. In this case I waited for the satellites to be connected before taking off, so the home point is very close to the controller, but if I walk just a few meters, notice how the position of the controller moves. By tapping on the map, it gets to full screen dimensions, and the camera view takes the place of the map. Their position is swapped. While flying, the arrow representing the aircraft points in the same direction as the camera, and the blue lines keep tracks of the route traveled by the aircraft. There is also a straight red line connecting the drone to the home point. This is handy if we want to bring the bird back home. All we need to do is the turn the arrow toward the home point and then advance in that direction. To the right there are five icons. The first one at the top shows any restriction or authorization zones in the area. The second one goes back to the default mode. The third icon plays either the drone or the return to home at the center of the map, and the blue line disappears. With the fourth icon the map has north at the top, and the home point in the middle. The last icon toggles to the other map views, including the satellite one. To go back to the normal view with the map in the lower left corner and the view from the camera on the screen, simply tap inside the small window in the lower left corner. The map view will not be able to show the position of the drone, the home point and the remote controller when the aircraft is far away. But at the top right of the map there is a minus icon to toggle to a zoomed out view, including the three items. It will then turn into a plus sign to toggle again to a zoomed in view. At times the small circle for the remote control does not appear on the map. It is something I have read about several times on social media, and it did happen to me a few times. If this happened before taking off, wait for the satellite to be connected and for the on point to be updated. In most cases the small circle appears. If this is not the case, leave DJI fly up by tapping on the arrow on the top left of the screen and then tap on Go Fly to go back to the app. When we fly on location without an internet connection, the maps will not be available. If using the RCN1 controller, the smartphone or tablet will have Wi-Fi, so there will be no issues. But when using the RC controller with a built-in screen, there will be no internet connection. There are two possibilities to access the maps. When planning a trip, it is possible to download the maps of the area when an internet connection is available. There is no need to turn on the drone, simply switch on the RC controller. First of all, turn on the Wi-Fi connection by swiping a finger twice down the screen of the controller to access the menu. On the right part of the screen there are seven icons. The first one connects to the internet, if there is one available. 
On DJI Fly Up, in the lower central part of the screen, tap on Profile, and on the next page select Offline Maps. We can see a map of the world, and we can zoom into the desired area. A small window at the bottom specifies the size of the map, and we can tap on the icon to the right to download it. We are then asked to give a name to the map. After tapping on Yes, the download starts, and we can see the progress. By choosing Downloads at the top, we get the list of the downloaded maps. We can access, rename or delete any of them. If we are going to a random trip, it is possible to set up a mobile phone or a tablet as a hotspot to have an internet connection. Switch on the mobile device, then turn on the RC controller and swipe down twice to access the menu. On the right half of the screen, on the top right, through the girl icon, we access a menu of settings where we can choose an internet connection. The one of the smartphone or tablet should be available. The attitude mode available with a radar view is an excellent way of keeping track of the position of the drone relative to the on point and to the remote controller. It has two main advantages. It doesn't need an, an internet connection and maintains the drone, the controller and the home point on the map, regardless of the distance from the aircraft. In the map view, tap on the small icon on the lower right to access the radar map. In the default mode, the remote controller is in the middle and the home point and aircraft are represented at their relative location. The outer part of the circle shows the direction the controller is facing compared to the north. If we rotate the controller, we can have it face in the north or any other direction. If we rotate until the drone is at the top of the screen, we are facing the drone. This way we get the best signal transmission. If the drone moves sideways, its position will be reflected on the map. But if it moves farther away, it will remain on the edge of the circle. If we rotate the nose of the aircraft, the direction will be shown by the blue arrow on the radar map. It is therefore easy to bring the drone back toward the operator. Simply turn it toward the controller and advance in that direction. The lower half of the radar map has a slightly different color compared to the top half. When the drone advances and changes direction, we notice that the lower part tilts sideways, reflecting the pitch of the aircraft. In case of medium to strong wind, we again notice the same tilt. With the camera view, the horizon looks always straight because of the stabilization of the gimbal. So the attitude mode is a good way to gauge the strength of the wind. When the drone is tilted upward, maybe because of flying into the wind, the greenish lower part of the radar map moves farther down in the circle and the other way around when the drone tilts down. It is possible to have a different perspective of the radar map by tapping on the white circle at the top left. This time the drone is at the center and the home point and the controller are in the relative positions. Some users might find this useful, but I prefer to have the controller at the center of the radar. Click on this link for my beginner guide to the Mini 3 Pro, where you'll find everything you need to know about this excellent drone. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.